Hey there cats and kittens, today I am bringing you an RU battle against six foot hacks we met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Um, you're probably already subscribed to him, he's got like seven times the subscribers I do, whatever. Um, looking at his team, the only real threat that I'm seeing is Sigalith. Uh, my team can handle everyone else on his team, as long as I don't make any stupid mistakes. Uh, but Sigalith, depending on the set it's running, can really wreck my team. So really, it's it, I only have to worry if it's the Calm Mind set, if it's the uh, Stored Power, not the, the Stored Power, um, Cosmic Power set, then I don't have to worry at all because my Slow King walls him completely. So anyway, he leads off with Crustle, and I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Leaf Storm first turn. He could be, I doubt he's going to go for a Shell Smash if he's in the lead position. He's probably going to set up Rocks, and uh, Leaf Storm is a 2 at KO, really no matter what. I mean, even with a crit, he's got Sturdy, most likely. So, yeah, I figure now I'll just be able to take him out with another Leaf Storm. He's going to actually just switch that out. I'm not sure why at that range of health what he thinks he can do, uh, although you'll see later. Uh, so I go for another Leaf Storm. Doesn't do, actually does more than I was expecting considering he's a resisted hit, resisted hit to that Sigalith, but you know, without the boost, Sigalith doesn't have that great stats, I guess. So now I'm going to switch out into George III because again, George III walls every set but the Calm Mind set. And uh, I, I'm seeing that he's not running the um, Psycho Boost, or uh, not, uh, not Psycho Boost, I'm sorry, uh, Psycho Shift with the uh, Flame Orb or whatever, so that's interesting. So now he goes back out into Crustle, and I calc that I can take an X Scissor, so I stay in. He actually just wants to set up a layer of spikes, so he's now got two layers of hazards up. I'm not even going to try to get my hazards up because he's got the Kabutops. And, um, you know, that's not really needed right now, so I'm just going to take out his Crustle, I get the first KO of the match, um, but he kind of just let me have it, and his Crustle did do a good job, considering that I have no spinners on my team. The truth is, I don't really need them unless he managed to get all the layers of entry hazards up, and I... or he only got two up, so that is fine. I go out into Tachikoma here, thinking that he might go for the trick, otherwise I wall him. He goes for the Volt Switch, that's fine. I'm not sure yet whether he's the Specs or the Scarf set, uh, based on that damage, uh, especially considering that it was a crit. I didn't actually see that it was a crit uh, during the battle, and I thought, wow, I guess he's Specs, but um, that was a crit, so he's um, not Specs. Here I'm fearing the extreme speed from his Entei, and, you know, Tachikoma doesn't have the best of health. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch out directly, rather than both switch out, into Tuesday, um, my Quillfish. And Quillfish is a 100% wall for Entei. I guess it's... can Entei even run Wild Charge? I'm not sure. But anyway, not going to be a problem. He's just going to do a straight up switch out, which is actually a pretty good move. Uh, and I'm not going to want to take a Leaf Storm. Uh, so now I'm going to switch out into Magna, my Among Us, which... Also, walls the set. The worst he can do to me is trick his scarf or specs. And I figure if it's specs, then you know that means that my uh, some of my attacks will do a lot of damage, and it just means that it's going to be a, I won't be able to use this guy for stalling as much. Uh, instead, he goes for the leaf storm. So good move on my end. Oh, also, you kind of want the trick here because then he's stuck with my black sludge, and then he's got to get rid of it or he's got to die. So it's all it's actually all a very good situation if he were to. Um, Switch like that. So anyway, here he sends out Entei to go for the Spore, so I'm thinking that this is probably the Entei set that I'm familiar with because I used it on that RU team that I'd stolen from someone else, uh, where he's got the Sleep Talk, so good Sleep Fodder, but he decides not to leave it in, which makes me think that maybe he was actually just using it for Sleep Fodder, or didn't think that, um, that he actually could, uh, that I was actually going to go for the Spore, so I don't know. But the point is, his Entei is asleep, so at the very least, it's going to be an unreliable attacker. So now I go out into Tuesday. Um, I think that was just a switch, thinking that he might go for the Flare Blitz. But so now I'm going to have to double switch. I'm uh, going to go back out into George the Third, as I'm going to find out what kind of set the Sigalith is running. Uh, as it turns out, okay, so entry hazards, lots of entry hazards. As it turns out, he's running Psychic, not Stored Power. They both have the same PP, uh, but it means that he's going to be able to hit a bit harder before he gets off his uh, boosts. And considering that uh, it's Psychic, I'm thinking, he, yeah, here we go. It's the Calm Mind set, and I go, oh lord, Calm Mind with Psychic can probably break through George III. Uh, I'll run the st I'll run you the calcs to tell you um, basically how much a Psychic will do at plus six, but I'm pretty sure it's enough to kill George III, or at least after a few hits. So I go ahead and paralyze him, thinking that he probably doesn't have the uh, Psycho Shift at this point. 
I go now into Hatterack thinking that my best move is actually to phase him out. Uh, just, I'm really nervous about all this. He gets paralyzed, he gets fully paralyzed, so that's a bit of unfortunate hacks for him, but he was probably just going to go for another calm mind, so it's not like it's the biggest deal in the world. He goes for a psychic here, I resist it, and it should all be okay. I go for my stealth rock thinking that he'd actually switch out, uh, but the, I mean, looking at that much damage, I'm like, oh wow, thank god he wasn't at a one higher level of calm mind. So yeah, the pair of the hacks did matter. Uh, here he's going to go for the air slash, I'm like, oh god, no flinch, no flinch, no flinch, because I can see him sweeping through my team now. Uh, I've got really not much to deal with it. I do manage to roar him out uh, into Tachikoma, or not Tachikoma, into his Rotom uh, cut form, no form, uh, and not going to want to stay in and take the Leaf Storm. Here I make a very bad play. I already told you that the, sw the correct switch here was into my um, Among Us. Instead, I send out my Audino thinking I really want to get some switches up and, you know, I can take a Leaf Storm. He goes for the trick. So that's going to mean that now my Audino is going to have a Choice Scarf and he's going to have Leftovers rather than a Black Sludge. So bad, bad move, Antar. Bad. But it is what it is. So here's just going to Volt Switch out. I think I go for the Wish. Uh, just figure, get someone's health back up. It uh, doesn't matter who. So he's going to go ahead and switch out. He's going to go out into his Sigilith. And I'm thinking my best bet here... So yeah, as I said, I'm going for the Wish. I'm thinking my best bet here is to go out into my Rotom, who should be able to take a plus zero Psychic, I figure. Now granted, I am down at this point. Okay, so I'm back. To, I'm down to basically half health. So I'll run the Calx and find out uh, how what my probability of surviving that hit were. But yeah, he takes me out. So that blows. And my Rotom was really my only hope because all I could I, I needed to trick him the I needed to trick him an item. Also, based on how hard he's hitting, I'm. I'm betting that a Leaf Storm might have actually been able to KO. So here, my only, so here I've got my best special wall out, um, and he gets paralyzed. And so that's excellent because he's not taking those hits as well as I would have thought. He has no calm minds up, and so I'm thinking if I get one more Scald off, I might actually be able to take him out. Uh, I'm just hoping that it, he doesn't survive on a little and then go for roost. But I do manage to take out his totem, and Sigilith is dead, and now I see no threats on his team. Uh, I, I, this, bad, this is basically good game. I mean, yeah, maybe there could be some uh, hacks going on, but I just really don't see any threats on his team left that are going to be a problem for me. So now I do the correct switch that I should have done instead of setting on my Audino. I go out into my Among Us against his Rotom Mo. And he's just going to go for the Thunderbolt, which is probably the move that's going to hit the hardest. Um, and it hits a whole lot harder than I was expecting. It's because he got another crit. So there's the hatch was pretty balanced in this match, I would say, because that crit, you know, did a huge amount of damage, and meant that I had to be a little bit more conservative with my strategy. So he's going to bolt switch out here. That's fine. Um, I could have gone for the um, synthesis, but I really wanted to take out. Uh, his Rotom, so instead I went for a Sludge Bomb. So he sends out his, um, his Spirit Tomb, has no weaknesses, and I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. No, so now I'm gonna be really careful here because I'm gonna need to scout his set. Based on the fact that he gets no lo uh, leftovers recovery, I'm thinking that he's probably the Banded set and he's gonna go for the Pursuit, and I do the Calc and show that, uh, Pursuit might have taken me out if I'd switched out, so instead I stay in and go for the Synthesis, which helps me out even if he locked himself into Sucker Punch. But either way, I get my health back, and he realizes this battle is, um, this battle is over. There's really nothing he can do against my team of Triple Regenerator, of course. He actually, oh, he go, tries going for the Will-O-Wisp here. And I'm just gonna go for a Giga Drain, but, um, so I couldn't chat with him because the Wi-Fi Battle Finder is buggy as hell, and I had no idea what he was thinking, um, or anything here. But at this point, he's going to run and forfeit the match. So that's why you're not going to see this battle up on his channel. But this did showcase a few interesting things. And I post everything anyway, so that's why I'm posting this battle to my channel. Folks, I hope you enjoyed the battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.